Hey guys! Hey so, guys! How's it going? I'm Dan. I'm Brian. This is this Brian. Is oh my Matt. god! I'm almost about to cry already. This is. Oh my Matt. god! I'm not gonna make it through this video. <laughs> so, for the past five years, uh, Brian and I have been together. We started vlogging our life, and we brought you guys into our lives. But unfortunately, um, we have decided to break up. That's the long story short. Um, and just before we get into anything, um, I'm going to put links in the description for resources on grieving as well as the Trevor Project if you need to talk to somebody. Just so you guys know, there's no bad blood between us. Like, we're still living together. Um, we still love each other, right? <laughs> I think. Um, and so... I have a letter that I wrote for you. You wrote me, oh god. I wrote you a letter, so. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Oh, it's on cardstock, too. It's on my resume paper. Oh jeez. I have no idea how I'm gonna make it through this. <sighs> <sighs> Whew! Okay, deep breaths. Dear Brian, I don't know where to start this letter. There's so much I need to say. So much I want to thank you for. Thank you for being there for me no matter what hardships I was going through. You're always there to just hug me if that's what I needed. Thank you for being my courage when I didn't have any. Thank you for all the random facts about pretty much everything. I know more about the subway system now than I probably should in that some of them don't have emergency, emergency exits. Thank you for bringing love into my life. I never thought I needed love, but you changed that. Uh, thank you for cleaning the airplane seat for me so I didn't have to touch the nuts. Thank you for being such a great dad to Maddie. Thank you for being a goof with me on social media. Uh, thank you for being the person with whom I spent my first pride. And thank you for all the memories together. <laughs> I'll miss to cuddles on the couch with Maddie as we watch HGTV. I'll miss the opportunity to buy videos. I won't be able to find someone who gets it just like you do. <laughs> I'll miss going for walks with Maddie to Chipotle or McDonald's, then sitting by the water as we watch everyone else exercising after work. <laughs> I'll miss the way you say, hey you, you're cute and stuff. I'll miss your passion for what you love. I'll miss the way you call me Peanut. I'll miss our stupid Christmas tree that's shoved up on the shelf near the ceiling. I'll miss watching Happy Endings and Hot Wives of Orlando with you. I'll miss your perfectly blue eyes and your adorable smirk. I'll miss our trips to Target, miss raiding the Oreo aisle for the latest flavor. I'll miss the way you kiss me and Maddie goodbye every morning when you go to work. I'll miss how I smell your cologne on Maddie when you're at work. Yeah. You, know, you know when you told me that last week I purposely started rubbing my arm. <laughs> no, did you spray her? No, I just rubbed my arm off. I'll miss the thought of growing old together. I'll miss your touch, the warmth of your body, the slow beat of your heart as I lay my ear against your chest. I'll miss you, not just your presence, your personality, your thought processes, the way you talk, the way you press your body against mine when you're half asleep. I'll miss everything. I remember all the amazing times we had together, uh, memories so embedded in my brain with love. I'm afraid I will look back at these same memories that caused me so much joy, but now will only cause me ceaseless pain. I can't bear the thought of your image causing me pain. It hurts too much. I'll will myself to think of all the great times we had in a positive light, and will take them with me for the rest of my life.
I hope you find someone who looks at you the way I do. Who appreciates every ounce of your being. I hope you find happiness. On our last day together, I request one thing, via Adele. All I ask is, if this is my last night with you, hold me like I'm more than just a friend. Give me a memory I can use. Take me by the hand while we do what lovers do. It matters how this ends, cause what if I never love again? I will love you forever, Peanut. <sighs> it's, I would say the decision ultimately, I would say is like our paths are diverging and what we need to do for ourselves personally and what we need to do for the relationship together does not completely all work together at the moment. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be kind of confused because yeah. I think most people associate breakups with like anger and like specific actions like someone cheated on the other person or like there's some deep rooted problems. You know, there's, I just feel like in general breakups are, are tend to be very like sharp split mm -hmm. and it's like on bad terms and there's a lot of like negative feelings and things like that. Um, we've decided to be very adult about it, come and on. since there aren't any bad circumstances or whatever, like... Get up here, you can't walk around. We want to remember the time that we have left together <laughs> in a positive light, and we want... We're gonna, like, leave everything up on social media for the memories and whatever. And I think just personally, just where I am with my life in general, not just my relationship with Dan, but just a lot of different areas. I just feel very, like I, the way I described it was, um, like I feel kind of trapped and not in control. And I think just, like I need to take time Like, I wish this could last forever. Like, I wish this would work. Like, I really enjoy all the time I spent with you. And like, everything that you've had on there. You know, like, we have a lot of jokes together. And we've done a lot of things together. And, like, in many ways, we get each other and like I don't know and like the idea of giving all this up it's like why would I do that like why, why, why would I do this to myself why would I do this to you why would I do this to Maddie it's just uh, there's just like there's just this like deeper feeling that ultimately this is what's going to be best for both of us. And that's what's making it so hard. It's like a part of me wishes there was like something bad that happened just so mm -hmm. that we could be angry at each mm -hmm. other, you know? It's, yeah. It seems like well, that's like an easier way out almost. I still feel like you you should be angry at me, I don't know. I not, mean, not I that, not that I'm trying to encourage no, you to, no. be, <laughs> to I do me. No, because it's literally like I've been struggling. You guys know with depression and anxiety for the past two years, and 
I'm finally getting better and I got a part-time job finally. <laughs> Literally like the day after we decided to break up. Like and you so are, you're doing so much better. And like I've been trying to be supportive and like keep I guess keep up appearances that like I'm not crumbling inside. Like when you when you've been going on interviews and everything like I've, I I I avoided having any kind of serious dis like t conversation and discussion with you because I didn't want to kill your momentum and I didn't want to you know crush the progress you've been making and and I didn't want to you know ruin your interview chances and things like that yeah just it sucks though it sucks it sucks it sucks it sucks it sucks cuz New York City is so freaking expensive and part-time job isn't gonna afford me to live here that's that's also part of the struggle so I mean looking towards the future I I'm not sure what I'm doing yet I'm looking at different options um, looking at staying here potentially um, I'm been still applying to other jobs as well um, looking potentially if I had to go back to Connecticut um, I have options so don't worry about me too much I, I think at the end of the day you'll be okay like I, I know you will I have to be. <laughs> yeah, have to. I don't have a. I don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You can no, only you help gotta... yourself. You can only help yourself, you guys. That's the one thing that I learned with my depression and anxiety. There's only so much so someone else can do for you. There's only so much Brian could do for me. It wasn't until I, like, I knew I needed help for depression, but it wasn't until like I actually felt the 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 urge to like help myself that I was actually able to do it and over the past like nine months or so I really like kicked into gear and you have to help yourself just remember that I haven't been caring for myself and like I said it's it's not even just the relationship like I'm not really happy in my, like I don't want to go too into the rest of the things but like there's just a lot of things that like I need to take time and I need to to explore, like, clear my head and and focus on me and like fix this before I I can even you know. Right. You have to you have to fix you have to fix yourself before you can be with anybody else. There's no bad blood between us, at least I hope there won't be and like there's no triggering negative event and so it's like like it's hard for me to even ra like rationalize and understand and I'm sure for a lot mm -hmm. of people watching this it's hard to like have like how does it make sense that two people who still love each other can like ag agree that it's like we should separate I mean it's it's gonna like it's gonna be so hard for you guys because you guys don't even have all the information or all the facts. Like you only have what we show you. So, like I feel for you guys struggling because I've watched YouTube couples before. I've watched multiple getting married and then breaking up, and like I went through a grieving process, um, and it was difficult to watch them uh, separately and moving on with their lives, it's difficult, but you have to do it, and so I feel for you guys, and if you need help, talk to somebody. I have to give us credit, both of us, at how mature we've been handling this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of people would not, even in the circumstances, they would, I don't know, like, well, it's, it's it's not for me in the circumstances here. It's not worth ruining what we had to. I don't know. Get angry about some stupid thing or whatever. 
some insignificant yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's just weird because, like, you know, we're, we're having conversations about, like, the different apartments that we'll, like, we're looking at, and, like, we're having conversations about, like, it's really, future plans and, like, how we're going to, it's like, really, it's hard. pack it's hard. up stuff and move out and, like... We're having all these conversations, and yet, like, I don't know, part of my head at the same time, it's like, this is all real, this is happening, but, like, we ha we haven't taken any concrete actions mm -hmm. yet. It's not going like, to hit us until... As, as we start, like, selling off stuff that we don't need, and, like, packing things up, I guess it'll start to hit, and then, like, the day you move out, it's just going to be, like... I... <laughs> Like that's gonna it's it's uh, I feel like it's gonna go from like that's another manageable to just like this is right this is it like right now we can kind of hold it together well, and like right now function. Like we're, we're filming on the couch like we've done many times before we're holding hands like mm -hmm. I'll kiss you like I still love you and then we go after this and I'm gonna go to my computer you're gonna go to your computer like in in so many ways like our lives are still the way they they were. <laughs> You know, two weeks ago, a week ago, but in many ways they're not, and it's just like when that moving van comes and I, yeah, kiss you for the last time. It's gonna be hard. Maybe I better get an apartment by myself because my roommate's not gonna deal with my screaming and bawling. Screaming? I don't know how loud I'm gonna cry. The camera just turned off, so I'm not sure if where it's gonna- Who knows where how Where it's much, gonna pick up, so. Who knows how much we lost. We're sorry. So a lot of people have been asking about Maddie, what's gonna happen with Maddie, who gets custody. In an ideal world, like, I would have loved like joint custody, like ha taking her for like a month apart or whatever, but since plans may take us to different locations, uh, we're still not sure what's gonna happen um, if I'm gonna be able to find a place that can have pets or not um, Ideally I like I would want a place with a pet But we're not sure yet, so Stay up stay stay tuned <laughs> Yeah, and I'm And like in terms of like living arrangements, right like I mean, obviously, we're going to move apart. Um, where we end up, I, I don't know yet. And I don't want to go too into that yet. But, um, like, I own this condo, but I can't, I don't know, I can't see myself staying here for a variety of reasons. The most pressing being the fact that I don't know if I could be in this apartment without these two. Like, we painted like I, every I can't wall. Even look, I can't even look at the walls and not remember like us painting it together. So I don't like I don't know where ultimately we'll end up, but we'll pro probably move out of here. I'll probably end up like renting this place out. So maybe if you want to rent this apartment, <laughs> so creepy. Hit me up. Stop it. I could be your landlord. Um, since we're, since we're plugging, um, I will be starting up my Patreon again, um, so if you guys want to help support me, um, that would be super awesome. Um, I'm gonna switch it to a monthly type thing because I don't know where I I'm gonna go with YouTube yet. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna need, you know, um, ideally I would like to continue st live streaming, like Twitch type things, um. And like posting pictures and stuff so like I do want to still take you guys along with me so if you want to help support me that would be super awesome <laughs> yeah and like I, I I haven't been on YouTube I, I tried the beginning of this year I put out like seven videos and then I got super discouraged and like my mildly depressed and stopped um, well but I I do think I'm gonna continue doing it because it's something that I enjoy. I and I'm like one of the things that I'm most appreciative of our relationship together is you introducing me to this world and like all the amazing people I've met, mm -hmm. both like YouTubers themselves and like 
all of you viewers and followers. I mean, some of you, a lot of you have, have been around for our like, whole relationship. If this is this longer, is, this, is like, like, right, this is like this is on Model Six Ten. This is <laughs> like there's people watching this video who, who know me before, have followed Dan before I found him because I only found him through his coming out video. Um, and like so many of you stick around it's and crazy. you give us so much love and support and we really appreciate it. And we're gonna need it. We'll try and radiate as much as we can back to you, but at the same time, like, if, you know, we don't, ref like, we see all of your supportive comments on, like, Twitter and everything. Tr trust me, we read them and we appreciate them. Mm -hmm. We might not have the, you know, capacity to reply to them, mentally capacity and, to reply to them. But. And, like, we need to take breaks, too, from social, social media. media at times, too. Um, it can get overwhelming. Right? I mean, Dan started tweeting some of these, like, cryptic-ish, although they weren't super cryptic tweets, and everyone started coming up with a million ideas and questions and thoughts and right. people wondering if my bisexuality has anything to do with this, which, for the record, it doesn't. No. Um, don't, like, don't, don't try to come up with things, because one, you guys don't have all the information, um, and two, there's, there's just, like, nothing that is drama, you know? There's no drama, you guys. So don't try to make drama out of nothing. Because <laughs> that's what people do. That's what people want to do, you know, when there's a breakup. Um, so <laughs> Dan had this idea, <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> for it. Uh, do, do we're, you like to explain it? So we're not your typical people. Anything. People. We're not your typical people, right? <laughs> and so why would we do typical anything? So... <sighs> I, we want to remember our relationship, and so we're going to be creating the breakup vlogs. Title may change, but yeah. <laughs> title, title pending. Um, but we wanted to do an opportunity buy video, um, and we did a video already where we went to the botanical gardens. Um, and it's just, it's just to, like memorialize our relationship not not for anything more than that like well i mean I, I also think like i mean we've been off the vlogging bandwagon for so long um and mostly because we're bit, we've been dealing with our own yeah, issues yeah exactly and i think you know we want we want to end this on a good note and i mean there's a there's a backlog of things that we've wanted to do together and just, I don't know, in general. So, like, we went to the Botanical Gardens last weekend and we filmed a vlog there, and I, I, I'm not sure what the rest of them are going to be, but... <laughs> or how many there are going to be, who knows. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to give that like button a big no, no. smash. Stop smash it. Smash that like Stop button. Stop it. I hate you. <laughs> There. Use that drama. If you like Use that audio puppies, clip. If you like cute puppies, hit that like button. If you don't like cute Smash puppies, it. hit that like button. If you're sad about us breaking up, hit that like button. If you're happy about us breaking up, hit that like button. <laughs> Subscribe for all those reasons as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not ready for the kiss. The kiss comes at the end. Oh. You can't just surprise me with a kiss. I did. Let's stop it. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. This is gonna be a process. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, who knows where the future will lead. Hopefully good things. Only good things. Only good thing. Can only go up from here. You have to put it out. Can only go up from here. Okay, bye. KK, okay, okay, bye. I'm over it. Oh, you're throwing it back. <laughs>